everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and this is just excited here, huh? First day with excitement. Today's video is all about packing up our Christmas shoe boxes uh, with Samaritan's Purse. So I, this is Operation uh, Christmas Child. I always call it shoe box child. I always get that like mixed up. So um, I've been doing this since I was a kid. Um, I remember, you know, going raiding my grandmother's closet for all of her old shoe boxes and things have changed. This year we actually have like the really nice plastic boxes that they actually uh, give out for free. And our church did something kind of cool. They put in um, like homemade little washcloths and uh, like little homemade crocheted hearts and stuff like that into the boxes. But we're gonna take you through um, what we have already purchased and picked out. Uh, as you can see in the background, it is uh, not even Halloween, it's October. Um, but because these shoe boxes are going to children all over the world, um, I think like the deadline is sometime towards the beginning of November, or like November 9th or something like that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and knock it out because uh, we did all of our shopping at the Dollar Tree. And for those who don't know, if you don't get the stuff at the Dollar Tree like right now in October, I'm not sure if it's gonna be there uh, in November or December. Like they just put out a ton of um, Christmas stuff and I have to actually go back to decorate for our house. But anyway, we're gonna get started. I've got three children, we're doing three boxes and each one of them got to go to the Dollar Tree and pick out their own stuff for their own age range. So this one is eight. So she picked out stuff for the age range of, age range of five to nine year olds and she's gonna show you what she picked out. A toothbrush. I don't know if it's been like this in the past, but they said uh, no toothpaste. I, I'm pretty sure in the past we bought. To talk. <laughs> pretty sure in the past we bought toothpaste, <laughs> but uh, this year we're just buying toothbrushes. Keep going. I think of tissues. We got to take it apart and, and split up all of them between all of us, and then a book for the school. And then a little tea set that will, you can see the knitted thing. They get to put this on there for the little tablecloth. Doll. Hazel's doll is ginormous because she wants her different doll or tree. A heel brush and some crayons. Then some socks and some erasers. And a pack of colors. We're going to take the pole and split them. Up. A lollipop of heel. Bands. You can never have too many hair ties. Yes. And then a washcloth. Put it in water and it gets like really, really big. What do you mean? Well, I, it doesn't get really big, but it's a magic towel. You put it in water and then it, it inflates to the normal it's, size of the water. It's not a magic towel. Well, it says it's a magic towel. So. It's not actually a magic towel. Yeah, and then a thing of gloves. Because once there was, it was cause, because once there was actually this person who sent gloves to a really hot place, but actually they sent to a person who liked to fish, but every time he took the net out, he it hurt his hand so he could protect him. And then some markers and some um, pencils and a lint. Lead. 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 And chapstick. I love chapstick too. Puzzle. Two balls of soap. And last, a Bible. Obviously, all of this is not going to fit in the shoe box, so we're going to take most of it out of its packaging and wrapping and see if we can package it as best as we can. If we have any leftovers, um, you know, after we get all three boxes all done, is that we'll, we might put some leftovers from one box into another box. Um, we're going to try to pack them out as much as we can. I've always done this, and usually I always have too much stuff and not enough box. But last year, actually, once we got everything out of its wrappers, we actually had some space left over. So I want to make sure that um, that does not happen this year. And we're here with child number two. Take it away. I'm Anna, and I'm six years old. Got some pencils. I got some I got a notepad. And then I got pencil sharpeners, like a pen sharpener, and so forth, like six, six. And then I got a little cute puzzle. More eraser. And what is that? we got some chapstick and some crayons. Um, right here. And I got a paddleball. Paddleball. Does someone put a eyeball up? Unicorn. <laughs> Itty bitty camera. And some sunglasses. I got some and lollipop. Oh, 
and two things of soap. A toothbrush to live on it, and it changes colors. I got a fan, and it's a changing Magic here. What's your name? Hazel. And wh how old are you, Hazel? Um, four. And so y did you buy toys and stuff for a four-year-old? A boy or a girl? Girl. You want to show everybody what you got? A uh, hairbrush. <laughs> doll. Oh, a big doll, huh? Oh, Jack. Yeah. Wait, hold it. There's the doll. <laughs> and soap. This is like a, a felt crafting thing. It's like stocking. There's like three different crafts. Yep. I thought that was kind of cool. Yep. I don't know if you put it together with glue or there's stickers. I think there's stickers. Um, um, a craft. As I'm putting together our boxes, it suddenly occurs to me that some people might not have ever done this before and have no clue as to what to do. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is going to go to Samaritan's Purse. Now I got the boxes that you saw in the video. I got those from my church. So a lot of churches will um, go ahead and provide the boxes. They also have these cardboard boxes. Those are the ones that we've used in the past, but also the whole thing started with shoe boxes. So you could still use a shoe box. And that's what I used to do when I was growing up. I would use a shoe box and then we would, um, we would wrap it in paper, but you want to make sure that they can open the box because there's actually a lot of people that will go through each box and make sure that there's nothing liquid dangerous fragile all that kind of stuff they'll make sure that the boxes are in good order and that um, you know they, they make acceptable and really nice gifts for children so you can see here's samaritanspurse.org and you can go over here and they give you a whole bunch of different options they have free materials and pre-printed shoe boxes how to pack a shoe box it gives you step-by-step -step instructions and you can actually build a shoe box online so if you'd like to just borrow money uh, I'm sorry borrow, borrow money if you'd like to just um, donate money and have someone else build build a shoebox for you. Uh, they also do that. They have gift suggestions by age and gender. And then you can also volunteer at a processing center. And these are the centers where they do look through each in each individual box and make sure it's age appropriate and there's nothing, um, nothing dangerous or hazardous or anything like that for the children. So they have a lot of different options um, down here. But what I wanted to show you, if you go up to here, pack a shoe box and then go under label options, then that is where you can actually go ahead and do your donation online. And this, the $9 donation helps to cover the cost of shipping for each box. Um, so you can, do multiple ones. I'm going to do three of these. If you do this online, 
um, and it gives you all the different options of how to pay. You can actually follow your box uh, and have a tracking label. So you can actually see where, which country your box ends up at. Um, and we did this last year and I think it ended up in New Zealand. So uh, it gives you some different options right there. So I wanted to just tell you guys about that in case you've never done this before. Uh, Samaritan's Purse, I, I just love each year they, they seem to add more ways that you can give um, and, and participate in this in this awesome, really, <laughs> really awesome shoe box um, ministries. Well, that about wraps up these shoe boxes. If you've never made shoe boxes before, um, they actually give you a list. So if you're kind of just like, ah, I don't know what to put in my shoe box. Um, this, well, every year they give you a list, but basically they kind of um, give you some suggestions of what you should put, uh, a wow item, some toys, some accessories like socks and sunglasses, school supplies, and non-liquid hygiene items. So um, again, I don't remember, I thought in the past that we used to do toothpaste, but this year, they definitely said do not include candy, toothpaste, gum, used or damaged items, war related items, seeds, foods, liquids or lotions, medicines or vitamins, breakable items or glass containers and aerosol cans. Um, so they give you some suggestions of things to get. And we always go to the Dollar Tree. Um, and we, <laughs> thanks for that. We always have so much fun putting these together. It's a wonderful way of, um, <laughs> of uh, sharing the, the gospel and also of um, coming together as a family and remembering what's important at Christmas and uh, sharing the love of Christmas with other children around the world. So I hope you got some good ideas from this um, and it, let me know in the comments below what you're planning on putting in your in your shoebox. If you do any fun traditions, uh, this year I think we might be taking pictures and putting them in the shoebox and um, they also, you can pay, you have to pay for shipping. Um, I think it's a suggested thing to pay for shipping but if you do pay for shipping online you can actually get a tracking number and you can track where the uh, the shoe box actually goes to so that was fun to do last year I, I think ours ended up in New Zealand I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you plan on packing and um, what age group and if you're do going to pack for a girl or a boy and I'll see you guys next time happy Halloween Merry Christmas <laughs> bye, bye.